hello guys hello and welcome so i'm live with another video so today i'm going to teach you that how we can learn power bi within just 10 minutes so as you can see here this is the interface of the power bi you can see this is the home uh, you can add multiple visualizations from here like if i want to add something so just remove it i'm just here you can do the modeling like build a relationship like this modeling tab so this is basically the table report view where you can you know build your reports and this is basically your table view where you have all the data you can view it like i have two tables imported and i can view it one by one right so this is basically import as you can see it shows import and here is the modeling tab where you can connect uh, two tables or multiple tables together right so let's see there is something common that we can connect um, i don't think so there is something common because these both are two different data types. okay so let's see uh how we can play, play around with this airbnb data you can remove your data table from this like delete from model you can yes and you know this table has been removed and now you have just one table here you can see all their columns you can see the calculated post is still count post type and from here you can change like uh, a data type like text like form of text so yes you can see their data types you can see their the price and whole number form type okay so this is basically the molding tab this is you are of course data tab where you can see all the tables you can now see uh, this table has 9705 rows and we can filter it out on the basis of like uh, anything for example if i want to filter it out on the basis of uh price of course so this from here i can just uh select all cross and just select one and my rows have been filtered now you can see that it's just 367 district value which is one for two so i don't want to apply the filter so let's click all and let's go back okay so right here in the report view let's go to the home tab so this is basically your basic power bi uh you know interface from here you can insert your data like excel power bi data set analysis service or you can connect with any sql server right if i click on the sql server it will ask you for the the server id and the database name and it gives you the two options like import directly uh we will discuss in future of course and if i talk about the excel workbook so it will open up for any excel workbook which is you know exist in your computer so yeah that's for it i don't want to sleep this excel book so let's cancel it out and here is one link data hub so where you can select all your data which lie on the cloud right so if i select over here it will bring a pop-up in front of me and i will select my data so i have a lot of data like protein analysis i just means and i just need to select one i just connect it like i can show it to you like rotate analysis sample and let's connect it down so let's see what it will do okay doesn't make this a code direct you know you have selected this okay so i got it so now you can see this is your data this is your data tab this is your formatting tab now you can see all the formatting this is your performance analyzer which we are not going to use right this time okay so this is the plus sign where you can close the option that you don't want to use and of course and the option that you want to use for it so these are the three basic tabs which i need like data it's formatting, it's visualization, it's form bookmarks. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so let's create our first report. You can click on the new visualizations, or you can select any visualizations from here, like you can see insert simply. Okay, so first of all, I would like to take a text box. So I took a text box and I want to give the name. Okay, oh, yeah, just 10 minutes. Right. So I just want to make it more, make it center. 
you know, make it uh, might be here in black, of course, and whatever I want to give it a color. I like red more of it. And oh, yeah, make it a business side as well. So here it is. And if you want to give an insert link or something, so you can do it. It's just simple like a word. Okay, so here is the size and style. So from here you can give it uh, the background color. Yeah, it shows here. Like this. And so let's look so bad. So with them. Not good. Not good. So. It's not look pretty good, so maybe I'm gonna change it to white and make it a little bit more. Yes, so this is my textbook, or maybe this is something that you want to tell your audience that what you want to create, right? So here again, in the visualization plan, you can go and take a pie chart. So create a pie chart. Here, this is a table section. Okay, so let's start creating the board and then we will see how it works. Right. But better than the uh, the table, the line chart. Okay, so let's start building something. For example, in the line chart I want to add data. Just yeah. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to do Yeah, maybe I want to take uh, okay, yes, I want to take this right and what what the price on the axis. So now you can see the prices will increase from 2014-12. Okay, so we can format it like we can put data labels on it, put markers which is dotted. Yeah, give it a trend line. That series level which is much longer. If this is the four path it's will work. Okay. Front and all this. Okay, so it's fine that this line shows. And that's some AI this option. Okay, so this is basically about the pricing. And I want to do a bit of formatting of it. Let's say I want to write a title. Yeah. And what, so these are their property. This but what I want to do. Okay, so is there vision options? Size, style, title, everything. So you can put uh, price frame here on here, here on here, and the call is low. Right, so this is. If we put it like this, no, give it. Okay, so this is your price rate year on year. This is one of the shop. Let's take a look. This is a car, and which is very basic you know, visualization that you use more often. So I want to set it here. So. so let's see what I can take from this. Okay, so maybe I want to take some of the prices. Take out. Okay, it doesn't work. So I'll take some of the prices, which is this. 
and this will be say the card visualization. You can call it the card visualization. You can call it with just simply by drawing C and control V. Call it like this. Okay, so most important what I'm gonna tell you is the format you can this as well. You can change the color of your canvas and you know this is of that one. But more often we use this color. So now you can set your cards and things. See, right? So I want to be there the pie chart. Yes, and I want to build it up here. So this is my night chart. A little smaller. You know, the most important part of this is, of course, data, of course, statistics. But the design, you know, your visualization is much as a lot. So let's add uh, availability. I have those to me. Okay, so these are all the pictures. I think mean, it's much. So we take the ideas which is less in numbers and pie chart. So let's take the room type. And let's take the so now we can see the orange one is going to show private room. This is hotel and this is entire room of apartment. So which you know will look more right. So if I want to change something like this, so let's just say how much prices and yeah mm -hmm. okay so let's just cross it and add another uh listing count so how many hotel or apartments you have registered so now we can do some qualitative those district you can change the data field is just like the flow in or you change the aggregation like you know, some account or what I want this to account. There's this just six host. Right. So who basically offer their account. You can make it correct. application for this something else so let's apply number of reviews per month so how many reviews we got per month oh, let's go so we got seven so two reviews six to six hostings or total price that we you know raise in terms of okay okay so here are your black filters, so let's see how we can do over here. For example, you don't want this, you don't want this, you don't want this. And in the year, that's fine. What we two can do. Hmm. You can break it into the more that's right. So you can add okay, so something like this generally you have to march right now. So if I select just one then it will show you this. The highest prices and uh, which is 2021. So now let's see where the traffic is the hotel booking or apartment booking. 
So right, so this is your data plan, this is your formative plan, this is your formative plan, or this is your visualization plan. These are your visualizations. This is where you can copy cut this from the page. You know, for example, product. Let's run this form of page with you. Okay, so it worked like some of my well in time, but both going to be the same. And the insert tab, modeling tab, view tab. So we have like, you don't want to change the theme. But you can take it some close like this or if I. It's very simple. You can design it or you can just use anything. That's a basic thing. So, whatever you like. The green is good, the green is good, uh, and the blue is good. So it's green. Or you can see fit to page, or you can buy layout as well. So let's see how it looks like on mobile. So I think it takes a little bit of time. From one card, two card, three card, and visualizations. Maybe it take a little longer to load, but you can see the mobile view you as well, right? So let's go back to the desktop. So this is basically the basic Power BI in just 10 minutes. I hope you learned that how we can select the visualizations, how we can add data, how we can build, you know, the model within the table, or how we can add, delete create new columns like from here how we can see about our data set how we can learn how many values we have with this so this is just all about basics of power bi so thank you for today so we'll come up next time another interesting video thank you